before this video gets fully started, hey guys, how you guys doing? Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers, so the only way you enter is just be, you know, just subscribe, and when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. Three winners, one person gets to choose any three of the figures, second person gets to choose the last two, and the last person has to deal with the last one. Unless you guys walk in dead vo want Walking Dead volumes, because every figure equals the same. But if you guys want want a Walking Dead volume, I'll definitely get it for you. So yeah, all you guys got to do is subscribe if you want to enter the giveaway. Or if you really like my channel, you can subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a nice day. What's going on guys, it's your boy Spiderman here, and today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 11, Hostiles and Calamities. Is Eugene a traitor? What does it mean or symbolize? And basically... What we're going to do is just show you a bunch of clips, a bunch of images, and a bunch of everything to prove that he's a traitor. And there will be another video discussing why he is not a traitor. So if you guys have not seen Season 7, Episode 11, I will leave right now because this is going to contain spoilers. But, yeah, so don't be blaming me. Spoiler alerts right now. So let's get into this conversation. Let's go! One of the most important scenes that showed Eugene is a complete traitor is the one when the red-headed girl asks for some pills for... The other blonde girl who was drinking a lot so she can die easily when she can just easily take a kitchen knife, slit her wrist, or slit her throat. It's that simple. So Eugene finally realizes, he tells her, you insulted my intelligence and I know that these pills are for Negan. And basically, boom. He could have easily gave the pills and could have ended Negan right away, but of course he didn't. So is that saying that he is teaming with Negan? Hmm, that kind of shows a little bit, like, maybe it's like, I think I'm pretty safe now. But I'm going to actually show you the clip if you guys haven't seen it, so here's the clip. Pump your brakes, Red. Do not insult my intelligence, Frankie. Said pills aren't for Amber, said pills are for Negan. Now, we are going in orders of the show, so that was the first one. This is going to be the second one. Then we have another one. So that was the clip, and now we're going to move on. Now, basically, Negan knocks on the door, and... Yeah, as you can see, Eugene's eating that delicious pickle, which I'm kind of jealous of. I really want that pickle, and I really want that mullet, but, you know, he, he's he got that. So maybe maybe I'll kill Eugene for it. But Megan knocks on the door and basically comes up to him and says, um, there's no need to be scared of me or anything like that. I just want to ask you one question. Who am I? And basically, Eugene says, I'm Negan. I was Negan before I even met you. I'm Stone Cold Negan, I was Negan before I met you, I just need to know you, you know, before, I just need to know you so I can know you better, so I know I'm actually Negan, he won, he can easily be saying that because, you know, uh, trying to survive, which makes sense, that's a big one, you know, he's trying to survive, but also, could he be teaming with him, this one's a, this one's a really stupid one, I can definitely see it, it's really stupid, this little piece what I'm saying, but I was figuring, like, Daryl was so, you know, with saying, no, I'm not Negan, you know, so it's the fact that Eugene's a little baby, and he has to say, I am Negan, but maybe he is siding with them or not, this one's a little iffy, next one, and then one after that is ten times better, so I'm gonna show you this clip, and then that's gonna be it. Who are I'm Negan? I'm utterly... Completely stone cold Negan. I was Negan before I even met you. I just needed to meet you properly to know. I'm Negan. Now, for a number three reason, is as you can see in this picture, Eugene is smiling. And now I know it don't look like too much of a smile, but the clip you can definitely see the smile grow. But it's so hard to get these clips because no one has them. The only one who had them had that channel name on it. It's really annoying, but I got the clip. And I got the picture. But basically, it's right after, you know, he talks to Negan. And Negan really loves him. And he says, I'm going to send a couple of my wives to you. You know, basically, he charmed Negan up. He got Negan's attention. Negan loves him. He'll complete him. He'll save him. You know? And just like um, Eugene said to the wives in, earlier, he says, you're replaceable. I'm not. Because they killed the doctor. Along with, spoiler alert, that's what I'm saying. You know, and... Eugene is not replaceable now, and that maybe that's why he's smiling. He started talking about the Geno Project. If you guys don't know what the Geno pro Project is, excuse me, it's basically what Eugene said to the one and only Abraham before he died. You guys remember that's how Eugene 
you know, was able to survive this long is because he lied about the Geno Project and lied about him knowing what the Geno Project was. So he told Abraham, I know the cure. And he basically said he, he didn't say he, knew, he knows the cure, but he knows about the Geno Project and knows how to stop them, knows how to kind of feed into them, which makes Negan so much vulnerable. And after this clip, for the fourth example, I believe it's going to be the fourth, you guys are going to be like, oh, wow. This is crazy. So, he got the pickle start smiling, and that basically shows he's probably like, well, now I'm Negan's favorite. He's going to make sure I'm safe at all costs. I'm going to stay here. But you got to remember, Rick, if Eugene dies, it's he has no one to go home to. He, Eugene had Abraham to actually go home to. He had his family. But Eugene has nothing now. He's just alone. So for him to die there, or him to go back, I should say, doesn't really matter. Everybody kind of miss him, but there's no one to go back to because Rosita doesn't like him. And I'm pretty sure Rosita got tired of him. And Eugene, he's probably tired of Rosita. So maybe he figured I can stay here and be safe for the rest of my life because Negan's going to make sure I'm second best in line, make sure I'm cared for because Eugene is a doctor, medic, um... Can work on cars, engineer, you know, chemical engineer, doctor, scientist. You know, he can do anything. So, Negan's got to make sure he's top priority. So, that kind of shows a lot right there. This is the main clip I want to show you guys. Let me show you the clip, and then we have a fourth example, and maybe a fifth. But let's just show the clip. Now, this is the fourth one. Now, basically, guys, Eugene is here talking to the other people down there behind the fence, the people who have to fight the walkers, and I have a picture zoomed in. Now, you guys might remember, I forgot to tell you, Negan was asking a bunch of questions to Eugene, and Eugene said how to keep them standing up, basically just put, uh, what is it, uh, melted metal, pour them on the head so they're unstabbable, unshootable, so they can just walk, camp, really, uh, can't get hurt, really, so it's like a walker that cannot get shot at or cannot actually be taken down by hand or by gun, so that walker is always walking. So, I have a picture zoomed up right here. As you guys can see, I circled it for you guys. You can see a metal head poured on it and the metal back and the metal front, but this is its back against the fence, so it has a metal skull now. And a metal shoulder back and, you know, butterfly joint, whatever you call it in the back of, of a walker or a person. But now they're all metal, so is this basically, basically saying that Negan's gonna use those walkers like how the Whisperers do? That's gonna be on a separate video, so you guys let me know if you guys want to hear that by subscribing, liking, and commenting, and all that jazz. So... Do you think uh, Eugene is doing this? Do you think uh, Negan's going to be the new Whisperer? Who knows? It's going to be really crazy. But I have one more example at the very end, which is a small example. But you, since Eugene said this, is Rick's group in danger? And did R Eugene finally turn to the dark side? So the last example, the fifth one, was how Dwight and Eugene had a nice little conversation. And all Eugene said was, we're Negan. That's a nice way to start a conversation after you bit this guy's penis right off, almost. And if you guys remember that, that was a pretty funny scene. And, yeah, so that's going to have to do it for all these examples. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know. I'm getting, I'm getting actually a couple subs each couple videos of, of like these that I actually show pictures, examples, clips, which is really awesome because I definitely want to hit a 1,000 subscribers by June. And once again, guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I hit a 1,000 subscribers. It's going to be three winners, and first one gets to choose the first action figure, second one gets to choose the last two, and the last one gets to choose that one, unless you guys want volumes. So if you guys want a volume, I'll definitely go pick up you guys up a volume, along with me doing my face reveal. But you only get the face reveal when I get a bunch of subscribers by June. So yeah, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Do you guys think Eugene is a traitor? Me, personally, I don't think so, but I also think so. It's a 50-50, but I think 75% he is, and 25% he isn't, or whatever the percentage is. 
And, yeah, hope you guys all enjoy this video. And once again, guys, do you guys think he's a traitor? Who knows? And also, if you guys want me to do a video of me discussing what is Negan going to do with these metal walkers, maybe he's going to put it in all at war. Who knows? I'll do a discussion on that. Okay, guys, I'll catch you guys all later, and peace.